Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Kat. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, little, little traveling this weekend, yeah, were you? Yeah, yeah. I got to go up to Portland and see a friend from college I hadn't seen in a long time and just uh, got to wander around Portland, do the, the wander thing. And uh, we were in like the southeast neighborhood, like around like Hawthorne District and stuff for oh, the most okay. part, and went to this probably like the, the pinnacle of the weekend was went to this interactive art gallery called hopscotch and like it was just there was a trampoline where you jumped in it and it was like bursts of light coming out from wherever you made contact on the trampoline so that was kind of cool and then like there was this glowing ball pit that you could wander around (laughs) in and and yeah no it it was a lot of cool i was gonna say yeah yeah, interactive uh, yeah 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 yeah, it was really exciting yeah so um, that was fun to go through and no i was like i've never seen so much neon in my entire life and i'm kind of okay with it (laughs) yeah no doubt yeah yeah yeah. so it was a good time long drive back but but worth it i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. well you got to see a friend and everything you got to see some cool stuff so at least you had a good time while you're there. And you did the drive mm-hmm. up, which is different than doing the drive up and drive back same day. Or oh, something. gosh. Or, yeah, no. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You I just had, had a nice couple days day. hanging out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Some relaxation was had. It right. was okay. Right on. <laughs> yeah, how about you and Junior? It's a crazy week for the Pirate Festival coming up this weekend, as we'll be mm-hmm. talking about later. But, uh, yeah, I just took it easy this weekend because we just got done with the Bigfoot Blues Fest. I'm trying to keep track of which ones we're doing. Yeah, we're knocking them down, though. So, no. yeah, we just got the Pirate Fest and the uh, Jog Your Memory Run will be going on on the 7th. That's a one day thing mm-hmm. that Monarch Gardens does and everything. And then we got the uh, Ducktober Fest. So, we just got two more left, but mm-hmm. the one coming up now is the big one. Yeah. That's the big crazy one. Yep. 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 So, yep. Mm-hmm. I'm getting all in game mode and I relaxed this weekend and did as little as possible, you know, a couple things around the house and just kind of, yeah, I try to get everything ahead of time because, yeah, like I said, comes Wednesday this year, I'll have to be out there marking up everything, getting it all ready. And then Mm -hmm. Thursday, we let them come in. Yep, I'll be seeing you Thursday. Yeah, we'll be seeing Mm -hmm. you down there on Thursday because you guys are doing the mermaid pool and all that good stuff. we'll be setting that up. I'm sure I'm getting ready to see plenty of you this weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be seeing each other all week long. Absolutely. That's the way it goes. But, yeah, that's it. I just more or less hung out and watched the Olympics. was pretty cool watching it. It looks like the U.S. is majoring on the... Yeah, China, I think, has got us beat on the gold medal part and everything like that. But as far as overall medals goes, I think last time I, it's got to be more now. But last time I looked, it was like 69 and the other ones were like 44 and 45, mm-hmm. you know. So we're doing good, good. So it's all cool. But yeah, that's it. Hope everybody out there got out. I mean, there's all kinds of things going on. We still got more. Oh, yeah, the Art on the Coast was this weekend. I went down and checked it out. Mm-hmm. So I like the layout they did this year. Fun. That was pretty cool. That Good. was neat. Yeah, it was It was great. Saw some vendors that we'll be seeing on the Pirate Festival weekend. So mm-hmm. that's always good to see them ahead of time. Everybody's going, yeah, getting ready. <laughs> Yay. So, yep, indeed. So that was a good event going on down there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope everybody got out there, had some fun, like I said. And we'll get going on the show. We got a guest and all that good stuff. Before we go, though, we'd like to thank Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows here at KCIW, you just got to go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Yeah, and like I said, we got a guest in the house here. And speaking of the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, we got Dave Keene is back with us. Last week we were going to have him on, but he was up lake fishing somewhere. Where were you at? I was in the Trinity Alps Wilderness. Oh. Well, Trinity Lake. It's uh, below the little Trinity Alps mountains around us, but it's a beautiful place. Oh, okay. Trinity. It's, I've heard of it. Still had some snow on it. It's like a sister lake to Shasta. Oh, Not okay. quite as big as Shasta, but oh. in a similar format, 25 miles long. All right. We've been going there since 1978 before kids. Yeah. So it's an annual... Mm-hmm. annual event for us so yeah and, and a yeah, different sure. change from the ocean fishing to, oh yeah what were you catching in there uh smallmouth bass, bass trophy yeah. bass and some trout oh, okay trout yeah, yeah. Good, good. And, and mainly family stuff we had visiting with the grandkids and yeah yeah other families that have been going there for years in fact our son met his wife at trinity lake when even they were 16 Aww. 16 years old oh my goodness and yeah. she didn't want anything to do with them then later <laughs> at 21 i think it was and, and they and they hooked up hey. and got married. Yeah, I said, oh, yeah, really? okay. Like, but they got married at the lake, too, the service, everything. See, so look at so that. Sweet. That's beautiful. A lot of history. So a lot of 
Yeah, a lot of history there. So yeah. went back. Yeah. Back. Right on. Ready to get back in the ocean. For yeah, me, I was going to miss it. And yeah. what's going on out there in the ocean, lots. speaking of? Okay. There's lots. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Tuna, speaking of pirate festivals. It's always during the pirate festival, yeah. the yeah. tuna. Yeah. Yeah. We seem to run into you and we're bringing on yeah. loads of tuna yeah. through your festival. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fun, fun. So, but our group uh, got out last Thursday. Some of our fleet and four or five boats went out and they got into some tuna. And they've got some pretty good numbers, so it's happening. Right so the next open, it's all weather related and water temperature it's related. It's been nice out so. there too. It's been beautiful, right? On the yeah, I've got friends out today fishing. Yeah, I'm here because that's my duty. Yeah, but someday I'll be back out there for a report, and from, we'll get you on the news. report out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, the fish. Okay, so tuna is <laughs> happening when it does. Uh, coho just closed August fourth, which would have been yesterday. So no more hatchery coho. The hatchery coho bite was pretty good. Except you had to filter through a lot of uh, wild fish to get your hatchery because you can't keep a wild coho, but they allowed us to keep hatchery coho this year. So you got to like. So we had to you know, release, 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 you know, you know, look at it. And, yeah. Oh, it's a wild one and try to shake it off, mm -hmm. which is pretty easy with barbless, barbless hooks. Right, right. But so coho is closed, but King is still open. So Chinook is still open until August 31st. Mm -hmm. So I'm anxious to get out there. I still have yet to get a, a king in the ocean this year. Oh, yeah. Bottom fish still going. Five bottom fish and two ling cod. Uh, Pacific halibut. I finally got on the halibut board. Took me five trips. Had to be patient, but I got a 47 incher, which was about 50 pounds. Yeah, I saw that. And, he was like as big as you were. Yeah, yeah. Like, dang. And yeah. we got another 38 uh, incher. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, and makes us go out for that. And then you can still get petroli sold, and you pick those up by your halibut fishing. Uh, Calif California halibut are now in. And so you you get those really kind of close to shore. You might see people trolling along Sport Haven Beach. Okay. Or if you get down to the Windchuck, that's a real popular place to pick up your California halibut. And, you, and here, it's interesting, we can have 25 a day. And in California, they can only keep two. It's well, that just doesn't weird. make no sense. I know it yeah, does yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> There's some things you just scratch your head. Yeah, and you go, I don't know. <laughs> and, and, and wonder. Yeah. Let's uh, see, coming up. Um, I'm attending a meeting tonight. They're looking at changing the bottom fish regulations in 2025. Actually, a reduction in our bag limit, which already is low. We, ha we only have five rockfish as a bag limit, whereas California have 10. But they're talking about reducing ours from five to four next year. So that's, that's um, we're going to see how that plays out. There's some other options on the table, like maybe closing uh, uh, July or July and August for bottom fish during the summer or sub bag limits. But... We're going to see how it plays out. Yeah. I'll keep you posted on it. Okay, there. good deal. But we'll still be able to fish. That's that's the key. Right on. You so, know, other than that, I think I've got- They got a meeting. You got the meeting tonight, so there's not another one. Oh, this, this meeting tonight is online. It's oh. with ODFW. So oh. I'll be doing a Teams, a Microsoft Teams meeting online so I can give my input for the Brookings area oh. on, on the different options that are out there. Then we'll have our regular club meeting uh, the third Wednesday, which I don't have the calendar right. in front of me, but the third Wednesday of this month, which should be two weeks. Yeah. Well, there's two weeks. Yep. Yep. Should yeah. Two weeks, two weeks from this yep, coming yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. It should be. Yep. 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 Perfect. Yep. So we'll have our club meeting for that. Maybe I'll be in before that. Who knows? Hey, we'll we'll try to get you in. Yeah. Every couple of weeks we like to have well because the fish thing changes and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And then you can brag about how many tuna you caught. Uh-huh. Right? That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> like that. well, right, bragging right. rights. Got to have the other bragging right. rights. That's <laughs> right. So. Well, good. Well, what time is the meeting on the third week? Uh, 5.30 third p.m. Wednesday. at the Checko Library. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You Cat stomping grounds. All right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> we're going to down then for sure. Right on. Well, good. Well, it's always good to have you on board here. I'm glad you had fun with the family last week. We missed you, but hey, it sounds like you were having a good time. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You said send a link and I'm like, going, well, I, I missed that conversation. Part of the conversation. We didn't talk about I, that. So I'll be out of town. I'll be yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the link? We'll catch Thanks. you out on the boat though one of these days yep, again. For so. sure. Oh. All right. Dave, always a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Always, yeah. Bruce. Cat, good to see you. And, and, and are you going to go dancing now? Or I'm actually going to give it a go. I oh, Achilles so tendon, you're... I think, is healed up okay. enough. I hope. Mm -hmm. well, don't We're get crazy. A little test. Yeah, don't get crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, say hey to Mary Lou for us. All right. Have a great one. Thank you, Bruce. We'll Thanks, see you Dad. next Bye. time around. <laughs> Bye bye. Always good to have Dave on board here with us, and mm -hmm. telling us, giving us the scoop. Yeah, always every year it's the tuna, tuna during the pirate festival. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, first let's get going here with the music schedule. We got All right. plenty. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, we're not lacking for music this no. month. So to start things off at the Brookings Welcome Center, and that's over at Chrissy Field. Music starts at two o'clock over there, and on the seventeenth, they're going to have Ken Doberpole, who does acoustic guitar. On the twenty-fourth, a Brookings Recorder Quartet. 
And on the 25th, Nathan Stone on acoustic. Yeah, and then Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs on the 23rd. They'll be at Anateca at 8 p.m. And then over at Elk Valley Casino, starting things off in the Betty Green Center on the 10th, they'll have a Motley Crue tribute band. Doors open at 7 for that show. Show starts at 8 o'clock. On the 16th, comedian Joey Medina. Doors opening at 7.30. Show starts at 8. And then on the 31st, they're having Comedy Pow Wow, a Native American comedy night. Doors open at 7.30 for that one. Show starts at 8. And on the 31st, they have the Rally at Elk Valley Car Show from 8 to 3 p.m. They're going to have music by ZZ Tush and the Mighty Steelheads. And then over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, music starts at 7.30 each night. On the 2nd and 3rd, they've got Steve Nelson. On the 9th and 10th, they have Robert Tiernan. On the 16th and 17th, Mike Powell. On the 23rd and 24th, it's Jesse Mead. On the 30th and 31st, they have Hannah Pay Singer. Hey, and Cisco on the 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st, you can catch him at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market at 2 p.m. Yeah, and then Bloodline Band is going to be over at Oxenfree on the 10th of August. Music there running from 8 to 11. Yeah, and then Mike Powell on the 9th, he'll be at Brookings Elks Lodge, 7 to 9. On the 16th and 17th, they'll be at Elk Valley Casino at 6.30 to 9.30. And then on the 30th... You catch him at Checkco Brewing Company, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, and then Black GTO is playing on the 9th at an attack in Crescent City from 8 to 10. Yep, and then PA and T Roy are out there on the 16th. They'll be at Coon Tai, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And on the 23rd, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 10th of August at the Bumbleberry Performance and Art Center in Springdale, Utah. Yeah. And let people know that. If you're big fans. 7 to 9 p.m. <laughs> and then on the 16th, they're going to be at Inateca, a little closer to home in Crescent City at yeah. 7.30 p.m. And then on the 31st, they're going to be at that Elk Valley Casino Car Show at 1 o'clock. Yeah. I love the Springdale Lounge just because it's, you know, it's cool that they're out of town that doing is something. good for them. And I good actually saw them on, I think they're out there right now. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. They were in Denver or someplace last time I right. touched right. bases on Facebook. Hey, and the Italian guys on the 15th and 22nd, there will be a Coon Tie, 6 p.m. And on the 24th, there will be an Inatech at 7 p.m. And then Ranch Party is playing on the 16th at the Elks Lodge from 7 to 9 in Brookings. And then on the 17th, they'll be at Augustino's from 3 to 6. Yeah, and then Misty Mountain Brewing. Music starts at 6 p.m., goes to 8 p.m. On the 17th and 30th, we got Long Goddard. On the 16th, Rogue Strings. On the 23rd, P.A. and T. Roy. And on the 31st, they got a surprise guest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. All right. So that is it for the music. Uh, well, we got plenty of it. And if you're out there and you got a band or you play music or sing or whatever and you want to get it on the radio show and possibly in the Inside of Southern Oregon newspaper, all you got to do is send me an email at captaincurry 541 at gmail.com and we'll get you all set up. All right. And then taking a look beyond music here, getting into just events in general for the rest of August, we're yep. going to start things off at the Checo Library in Brookings. On Mondays at 5.30 p.m., they have a Spanish speakers walking group. This is a fitness and conversation group for Spanish speakers. Then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they have their weekly story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. Also on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m., they have a chair yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class that focuses on seated positions. And then on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m., they've got another chair yoga class, again, focusing on those seated positions, 1.30 p.m. And then at 5.30 p.m. on Thursdays, they've got an easy flow yoga class. This is a yoga class for beginners, which includes standing poses. It is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor. And finally, for weekly events on Fridays at 4 o'clock, they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And then looking ahead to some monthly and special events over at the library, on the 12th of August, that's a Monday, all day long, they offer Spice World Spice Bags. You can take a culinary journey around the world. Their spice bags feature a unique monthly spice from a different part of the world. Each bag comes with a tester sample, trivia, and recipe suggestions. Supplies are limited, though, and it is available from a first-come, first-serve basis. And then on the 13th and 27th, those are Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m., they are having game nights at Checo Brewing Co. 
This is an open board game night that features games from the library's board game collection, hosted at Checo Brewing Co. at 830 Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in the community with plenty of table space to spread out. Kids are welcome, but they have to be accompanied and supervised by an adult guardian. And game night happens every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And then coming up for book clubs at the library on August 8th at 5 o'clock, they have Club de Lectora. The library's Spanish language book club encourages parents with children to attend and enjoy an open, welcoming atmosphere. Then coming up on the 14th at 4 p.m., they have Kids Book Club. This is geared towards second through fifth graders, and kids vote on and pick the books that they read each month. And then also on the 14th at 4 o'clock, they have, for adults, the Freshly Written Book Club. Again, geared toward adults, this book club focuses on fiction and debut authors. And then on the 22nd at 5.30 p.m., they've got their monthly Pub Grub Book Club. This casual book club is for adult fans of graphic novels and takes place off-site at Misty Mountain Brewing in downtown Brookings. This month, the club is reading and discussing I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. And if you have any questions or need more info on any upcoming events or programs or services at the Checo Library, you can always check out their events calendar at checkolibrary.org. You can follow them for updates on Facebook, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. Oh, yeah, and then yes, indeedy. Yes. We got the 13th <laughs> Annual Pirates of the Pacific Festival. That's right. I'll tell you what, I mean, when me and Mike Moran created this, you know, 14 years ago, because mm-hmm. 2020 messed us all made up. Me skip, yes. Yeah, made me mm-hmm. skip we, one. We but, just mm-hmm. pretend that year doesn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But in 2010, when we came up with this, I didn't realize it would be so intense around here, but I had the whole town took took into it, and everybody all around and everything fills up, and so it's just mm-hmm. one of the, it's going to be a crazy week for me, it always is during this time, but uh, mm-hmm. yep, that's coming up on the 9th, 10th, and 11th. Friday it's noon to eight. Saturday it's ten to eight, and Sunday it's ten to five. We got mermaids, cannon fire, live music on two stages, vendors, food, beer gardens, and of course, pirates. That's right. Yeah, we're looking forward to that, and uh, definitely, uh, yeah, coming up this weekend, the crazy week. So three days. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. All right. Well. Later on this week, Four Castle Books is presenting the Spoken Word Open Mic event on the 8th of August at 5.45 p.m. This event is hosted by poet Michael Spring, and for more info about it, you can call 541-450-1115. Yeah, and then we got a tap takeover at Inateca on the 9th, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is a fundraiser and raffle to benefit four-year-old Waylon and his battle with Ewing sarcoma cancer. And this is featuring live music by Black GTO. All right. And now it's time for Quotes from Famous People with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from actress-comedian Lucille Ball. She was born August 6, 1911. She said, I'd rather regret the things I've done than regret the things I haven't done. She says, a man who correctly guesses a woman's age may be smart, but he's not very bright. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then once in his life, every man is entitled to fall madly in love with a gorgeous redhead. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, the secret of staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly, oh, and lie about your age. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Lucille Ball with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Yeah, I think yeah. I got an appropriate sound on that one, finally. Yeah, Finding, yeah, yeah. You're, you're expanding your, your sound machine usage. Hey, there you yeah. go. And not quite as long-lasting. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the show be over by the time in we, some we, of these. <laughs> we continue to experiment. Yeah, I like it. All right. The Pistol River Concert Association is presenting The Quitters. This is over at the Pistol River Friendship Club, located at 24252 Carpenterville Road over in Pistol River. And this is happening on the 10th of August from 8 to 10 p.m. Stevie Coyle and Glenn make up the guitar duo The Quitters. As individuals, both are renowned players in music circles. And now they have joined forces to the delight of California audiences. They've become a right-handed, right-side-up finger-picking and left-handed, upside-down flat-picking twosome. They say they are mostly acoustic, some electric, much serendipity. That's right. Oh, they're branching out. Yeah, branching out. Yeah. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Petty Rocks. This is a tribute to Tom Petty. It's happening on the 10th at 8 p.m. Petty Rocks will be at Lucky 7 Casino and Hotel Petty Rocks is a Northern California-based tribute to the music of the one-of-a-kind rock and roll icon Tom Petty. 
Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show begins at 8 at the Tallow Event Center. Tickets are online or at the door, and of course, you must be 21 years old to attend this event. All right. And then Suds on the Coast is presenting a community conversation about substance use disorder, opiates, and our resources. This is going to take place on the 15th of August from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. And topics for discussion are going to include overdoses in the community, youth substance abuse, substance abuse among the unhoused population. Yes, indeed. You see, both libraries are going at it this yeah. this summer. It's very yeah, cool. It's very cool. On the table, Stuff yeah. Going on, yeah. Family Resource Center in Crescent City is presenting the Youth and Family Fair at the Beachfront Park. This is happening on the seventeenth, eleven a.m. to two p.m. You can join them for a fun afternoon with children's crafts, activities, health snacks, and community resources. For information, you can call seven zero seven four six four zero nine five five. Extension 2112. All right, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that Franklin was almost the 14th state? It's true, and here's the story. At the close of the American Revolution, the newly formed U.S. Congress was deep in debt. Well, in 1784, the province of North Carolina voted to cede. 29 million acres of land between the Allegheny Mountains and the Mississippi River to Congress to ease its financial troubles. Well, the U.S. government had two years to accept responsibility for the area. However, in the meantime, Western settlements on this land feared that they would be left to handle the nearby Cherokee people alone, or even that Congress would sell the territory off to a foreign entity. A few months later, North Carolina rescinded its offer after reevaluation, reclaiming authority over the land, now eastern Tennessee. Unhappy with North Carolina's governance over the area, frontiersmen from the region sought to establish their land as a separate independent state called Frankland. In August of 1784, delegates from the counties in question gathered in Jonesboro, elected leaders for the new state, and drafted a state constitution. Well, on May 16, 1785, they petitioned Congress for statehood. Well, seven out of the 13 existing U.S. provinces voted in favor but this was less than two-thirds majority required by the Articles of Confederation. While attempting to bolster their petition, Franklin leaders changed the name of the area to Franklin and attempted to garner support from founding father Benjamin Franklin. Though he declined, Franklinites existed in their own little republic for just over four years, expanding their territory gradually by seizing it from the indigenous population. Well, after conflict with the North Carolina administration, the Franklin government collapsed in early 1789, and North Carolina resumed full control of the land. Not long after, North Carolina voted again to cede the area to Congress, and it became part of the Southwest Territory, eventually Tennessee. A full cure, Davy Crockett was born in the state of Franklin, and his father was a passionate Franklinite. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's Beard of History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. I like that one. All that right. was fun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't know Franklinites. All right. All right. There you go. It reminds me of like the folks that are like, you know, great state of Jefferson. Yeah, the yeah, state yeah, of it's Jefferson. Kind of yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. A little bit. All right. All right. Well, hey, the fourth annual Remax Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause is coming up. And this is in collaboration with Caitlin's Cause, a local nonprofit organization and 501c3 charity that works closely with Dornbecker Children's Hospital to provide gifts for children facing illnesses. This event's going to take place on August 23rd, 24th, and 25th at the Salmon Run Golf Course. The tournament will follow a best ball format where two-person teams will participate, all with the aim of raising funds for Caitlin's Cause. The practice round will be held on the 25th, setting the stage for a wonderful event. If you wish to be a part of this meaningful occasion by either participating in the tournament or contributing a donation, you can visit their website at kccharityclassic.com. Good cause. Good cause right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Azalea Garden Senior Living at 75. Five Elk Drive in Brookings is presenting Azalea Garden Show and Shine. This is happening on the 25th, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Shine up your ride and meet them for some live entertainment and a barbecue at Azalea Gardens. All right. And then Let's Be Friends Del Nord is presenting a meet and greet barbecue and karaoke event. This is going to be at 920 C Street in Crescent City, 3 to 5 p.m. on August 25th. The public is invited for an afternoon of food, good company, and karaoke. They'll be bringing the meat. Please bring a side dish. They invite you to make memories and new friends. This event is free. All are welcome to come. 
And you can join their Facebook group and page that is called Let's Be Friends Del Norte. They have monthly meetups. And for more information about the group, you can call or text 707-951-1440. Yeah, and then Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Open Mic Night. This is happening on the 30th, 8 p.m. to midnight. So bring your best act out and show off your talent. This is hosted by Nathan Stone. All right, and Port Orford is having a Jubilee car show at 423 11th Street on the 31st of August from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's going to have food trucks, vendors, and music. There's a silent auction fundraiser. And car and vendor registration happens at portorfordjubilee.org. And the fundraiser benefits next year's 4th of July events. For information about the event, you can call 541-391-2130. Yeah, we could fit one more in here. Brookings Elks Lodge is having a Labor Day luau. This is happening on the 31st from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Featuring music by Cutter Like the Kings. Ukulele with John, Emblem's Dessert Table, Door Prizes, Raffle with Proceeds to Benefit Jimmy Quella, and Drink Specials, Barbecue Huli Huli Chicken, Cornhole Tournament. Tickets are per person are 20 or 60 for four. And for tickets info, you can call 541-469-2169. And that's it. We got the flying fickle finger of faith, so it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Inside Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Inside Report, by going to KCIW.org. And while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Well, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, and please support local businesses. Keep it real and spread the love and peace every chance you get. And hey... We'll We'll see see you out there. there. Bam! Still takes a little bit. (laughs) Still takes less time than the clapping. That's right. (laughs) All right. For music credits for the preceding show, go to kciw.org slash credits.